Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentis Sampson and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question of Dasani, or not Dasani, but Aquafina water. Is Aquafina water bad for you? Alright? So, if you haven't seen any of these videos, what you want to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more tips, tricks, and tactics on improving your wellness. Alright? Now, with that being said, I got five things for you to think about when it comes to discovering is Aquafina water bad for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is oxidation, right? I'm gonna go ahead and open up this Aquafina water here. And one of the concerns that we should have when it comes to drinking water is, is it actually oxidizing us? Is it making us sicker? If it's oxidizing us, believe it or not, it's creating rust and inflammation in the body, okay? So if you have any type of itis, whether that's plantar fasciitis, whether that's bronchitis, any type of itis, that's inflammation. And your water may play a major role in that, okay? So you want your water to be an antioxidant, right? So you want to be anti-aging. You want to reduce that inflammation. You want to reduce oxidation in the body so you can stay looking young, feeling young, and having more energy, okay? Now, we're gonna test this here using an ORP meter. So if we see a positive number, that means this is oxidizing us, creating more sickness and aging in the body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it is an antioxidant, it's pushing out those toxins, bringing down that inflammation, and it's essentially the fountain of youth. So, let's take a look at Aquafina. And as you see, it's 199 is steadily climbing because of the air. The air is oxidizing us, right? So we're in a constant battle. However, let's take a look at this water over here. And as you can see, it jumps immediately. And this is a negative 6, 630 and climbing, right? So that's a negative number. That means it's anti-oxidizing and it's good for our body. It's gonna improve our health, okay? So the first thing to keep in mind with Aquafina is that it's actually oxidizing us. All right, so the second thing we're gonna look at when it comes to answering the question of is Aquafina water bad for you is the alkalinity. Now, as we know, Dr. Otto, Dr. Warburg stated that cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. And that goes the same with any kind of sickness, okay? So we want to consume things that are more alkaline than acidic. So when it comes to Aquafina water, is it alkaline or acidic? Well, let's go ahead and check it out using these pH drops. I'm gonna put a few in here, and if you see a red or orange or a yellow, that means it is acidic and it's creating more pain in the body, okay? And as you see, Aquafina is acidic. And that's not good for us because we wanna keep our body slightly alkaline. And if we're acidic, then that means it's actually eating the minerals and everything that's in your body that it needs to thrive. Okay, so once again, taking a look at this mysterious water here, we see that this one is uh, purple. Okay, so that means it's actually alkaline and it's good for us. But focus here is on Aquafina and just to take note that it is oxidizing. Or not oxidizing, well, it is oxidizing, but it is acidic. All right, <laughs> the third thing we're gonna talk about when it comes to Aquafina and is it bad for us is this inability to actually hydrate you. Like there's a reason why they sell 48 bottles of Aquafina water in cases like that. And it's not because it's good for you, okay? <laughs> it's because you're gonna need that much to feel hydrated. And the best way to show you that is with this tea bag, okay? So the problem with it is the water is not small enough to actually make tea or actually even get into our cells. Take that with the fact that it's oxidizing and acidic and our body wants nothing to do with it. So what ends up happening is it goes straight to our stomach and it's treated like food. And it tries to get digested and stuff like that and then we end up flushing it out when we go to the bathroom. So let me go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this Aquafina water. And as you can see, it is not making tea. And once again, you're probably thinking, of course the princess is not gonna make tea. But how do we make it? We have to boil the water, right? And we make the water small enough to where it's actually able to pull the nutrients out and make tea. So it's doing like a little, a little tea light thing, right? So let me go ahead and 
try it with this other water here. We'll see what we get. So this one's doing a much better job at actually making tea. And the reason why is because the water molecules are smaller. And it's really tough to get that from your Aquafina. Now just to show you that this wasn't a trick, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. The bag is wet <laughs> right here, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, see what we get. And it's still not making the tea, right? So it should be able to make tea. Now think about this, if we're taking supplements, right? We're normally taking supplements, we're taking vitamins, or if we're cooking and we're going ahead and we're using different ingredients, you want your food, you want the supplements to actually get into your bloodstream. You want your food to actually have flavor and impact without having to use so much. And if you use the right water, then it's gonna actually come out a little bit better. And as you can see, I can use this water here and actually bring out the impact of the tea that we should have gotten when we used the Aquafina. So this is a prime example of Aquafina not being able to hydrate us at a cellular level. All right, so number four, the fourth reason why Aquafina may just be bad for you are the secret ingredients that is in this water. Now, this is actually purified water and it's purified through reverse osmosis, okay? Now, the good thing about that is we remove all the bad stuff from the water. The bad part about that is we remove all the good stuff from the water too. That makes this water a scavenger. And because of that is eating away at the plastic. So if you let this sit in here long enough, which we don't know when we get it, there's gonna be little bits of plastic in here. And if you tasted Aquafina water or just bottled water in general, you taste it like, hmm, this tastes like plastic. It's because the water is a scavenger. In addition to that, you have a bonus ingredient in here known as xenoestrogen, okay? So when that starts happening, this creates that carcinogen known as xenoestrogen and 75% of men and women who have breast cancer end up having too much xenoestrogen in their body. Now, I'm not saying Aquafina is the cause of that, but you can definitely get more of that in your body if you're drinking it from bottled water. So keep that in mind, okay? Fifth and final reason why Aquafina may be bad for you is not only that it is oxidizing, not only is it acidic, and create more sickness and disease in the body. Not only does it not have the ability to hydrate us, and on top of that, it actually can increase the likelihood of you getting cancer, we're paying for it. That's the last one, we're paying for it. Now, I'll tell you right now, you're paying the cheapest amount possible for water, but you are paying for it. You're getting a 78 pack of Aquafina water for like maybe $3, but let me tell you something you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> You're not gonna see when it comes to cars. You're not gonna see a Mercedes Benz on sale for $400, okay? And there's a reason why, because there's value to it. Is there value to this water? With everything you've learned today, there is no value in getting this water. That's why it's in front of you when you go to the store. They don't do any advertising for it because they put big old 97 packs of the water for you to get and they charge you $2 for it because they know you need water. Heck, it's 75% of our body is water, right? But you spend your time getting the cheap stuff, where's your energy gonna be? How's your skin gonna feel? How are you gonna feel when you sleep? So just keep that in mind. Not only all the bad stuff that's in here, but we're paying for it. And we shouldn't be paying for this, okay? You deserve to have better water. And so if you are serious about improving your health, I highly recommend getting in contact with me. All right, I am available on several different platforms. First one is here on YouTube, so make sure you smash that subscribe button. Second place you can find me is on my website, apprenticesampson.com. Third, you can find me on Facebook, and I have a whole page dedicated to providing different tips, tricks, and tactics on improving your wellness. That's too hot for YouTube. All right, so make sure you check me out. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.